What's going on everyone? My name is Elias and I've been a full-time Call of Duty coach for the last two years and today I'm going to teach you what a main AR does and how to make the game as simple and as structured as possible for your three other teammates during solo queue. So off the bat we already see that I am running a submachine gun to start off this game however I will switch over to an AR and the major tips about playing as a main AR is make sure you're anchoring spawns, make sure you're in power positions, don't die. Those are probably like the three most important tips I could say when it comes to being a main AR player. Right now, I pull out my AR and immediately I'm pushing up to this first van right here and um, I'm getting shots down. I really want to try to kill this guy as fast as possible because I know these enemies are going to be pushing up on my left. So once I get that kill right there, I pop a quick reload. I throw a trophy down on time to try to help my teammates a little bit. And now I just sit in this beautiful head glitch right here. This is what I was talking about by playing a power position. Because right now, by sitting in this one spot, I can hold left lane, middle lane, and the right lane. I can just go back and forth and just outslay all of the enemies. And uh, essentially, if I do get shot and I do get one shot, I should just lay down and don't ego challenge. However, you're going to see me just overheat a little bit in ego challenge, uh, such as like right there, I don't see that guy. Um, however, that being said, I spawn up 30 seconds left of old time, rotate, get to new. So immediately, I go top PD right here to kill the guy at new new unfortunately i lost my gunfight uh but basically in a perfect scenario i would win that gunfight and then i would stay top pd spawn trapping the enemies under me uh but right there my teammate wins the trade and now i'm sitting right here at sign once again in a power position just to help my teammate in time my teammate needs to soak up time and i just need to sit right here to spawn trap the enemies and that's literally it once again i'm in a power position Focusing down this entire left lane. None of my teammates have to worry about it They just got to sit in time and don't die uh, Right here. We do get the last few kills I do get a beautiful three-piece and that all those kills right there just flip the enemies to spawn at milk right now So this is where I need to start soaking up time because obviously no one else is around it and um, Obviously we got to play for the win. So I'm just gonna go ahead sit on time right here play this spot. This is the best spot you could ever play because literally no one knows that you sit here. I get a free kill on the first guy. The second guy is going in for the trade and boom, easy two piece just like that. And I soak up the rest of these 20 seconds. Now, this is where the game starts getting a little bit questionable because I have to trust my teammates to rotate play spawns, get in a power position, and don't die, right? I have to now trust my teammates to do that instead of me doing that. Uh, so this is where it, it gets a little scary, uh, but like I said, I I'm just going to take my time, my be cool, calm, collected, no, push up to this power time. position right here. There's two okay, dead. I'm going to help my teammates pinch these last guys on time just to make this process easy. And then once we get this pinch off, I now push out and I try to hold map control on this right hand side. And once again, I'm creating structure where now I am sitting, holding down the entire right lane. Our teammates aren't going to die from stairs and I get this middle cross where I ping and I let my teammates know that there's two people hallway. Um, right here, I'm not really sure how my teammates died in time because they all spawned behind me. And uh, I, I really don't know what happened right there, but with 20 seconds left, we can easily just rotate, get to new. Right now, my major goal is to cut off the enemies at P2 because right now the enemies are rotating through P2 and they're going to meet up with me over here at ASD. So I genuinely thought I won the timing and I was going to be able to get a two piece or get one or two kills. And uh, unfortunately, that guy was there before me. Um, so right here, I look at my mini map and I realize, well, shit, we got control. Oh, wait, I just cussed. Sorry, everyone. Um, <laughs> so right here, I look at this. And I understand that we have control of the hard point. And when it comes down to P5, it's like considered a middle hill where if everyone just pulls out subs and sits inside of time, you're going to win. And right here, this is what I meant by never dying. I am literally in hard point holding a pre-aim and I sit in this one spot for the entire 60 seconds and I don't die. And this is the most important part when it comes to playing hard point is when you are in the hard point, don't die, don't challenge. There's no reason for you to challenge. The enemies have to push you. And because the enemies have to push me right here, I'm able to uh, soak up a full 45 seconds and I get, I think a, uh, a cruise missile just off of this one hill which is really insane, um, just to think about that, right? 
Uh, so with five seconds left right here, I'm gonna go ahead and start rotating towards the right staircase and playing to get top control. I did hear this guy behind me back alley, so I get this free kill. I'm going top bridge right here, and once again, these enemies will be spawning at PD tennis courts, so they will be pushing up orange, pushing up ladder, and of course, getting onto time. I kill the guy pushing up to time. I know there has to be a guy flanking me right now, looking for my trade. There he is, I get those dead, that's three dead. These enemies are spawning PD, and I went right here for a cut, and I was holding it the entire time, but the more that my teammates were shooting middle and I just saw my teammates spawn there, I said, all right, let me go help my teammates on time. And long and behold, we get terrible Call of Duty timing, where they do push the left lane, they kill my teammate, they do push middle, they kill my teammate, and I'm nowhere to be found. I had terrible timing, but that's okay because like I said, I played my life, I got a nice two piece, I'm soaking up the rest of time. Once I die right here, I will spawn closer to P2 because all the enemies are at PD, tennis courts, all of that. And now once again, I rotate, I get right back to that beautiful power position we just talked about. Uh, this guy is ego challenging when he doesn't need to. Don't be that guy. All he needs to do is just sit in time and instead he challenged me. And voila, we're back into this power position uh, where right here, once again, my goal is to just basically get shots down, get damage down, get these kills, be in this power position, don't die. And uh, right here, my teammates are spawning out at tennis courts. So the enemies are collapsing on us from all sides right now. This is a little awkward, um, but unfortunately I couldn't win my gunfights. That being said though, we're up by 200 points. Really, we can just win this off of rotating. Um, based on the minimap, I know that the enemies will be spawning either bottom PD or in this back alley. So eventually, no one hit me back PD. So now I'm just playing for these cuts at these guys. Uh, so I cut these guys where they spawn back alley and they push through um, diner in red right there. And I just got those kills. Um, and unfortunately, the guy that did spawn behind me, he rotated and he got the kill on me. Um, but right here, my teammate is already going to top PD. So instead of me going to top PD because my teammate is there, I'm actually gonna push up and get to time, right? It's, you don't really wanna have two people doing the same thing unless it's planned and coordinated. Uh, right here, I have kill streaks. might as well use them. Um, I didn't know if they had a trophy or not, so I just kinda winged it and just hoped I can go for it. Unfortunately, got nothing, but I did see this guy on the AC unit. I thought I was gonna be confident to win the gunfight, but unfortunately that head glitch is just way too good and I shouldn't be ego challenging a shot, uh, a fight like that unless I throw my nades there or unless I also like snake into it, right? Uh, but with 30 seconds right here, I pretty much say, hey, we're, we're just gonna win the game right here. So I rotate, once again, I'm sitting on this power position, holding down this entire right lane with structure and I am not dying. If I don't die right here, all my teammates have to worry about is just what's going on in the left lane over here in hallway and everything. Uh, sorry for pressing pause, uh, but I was just by basically trying to show that just because I'm in this one spot, my teammates in time just have to worry about hallways and then their full flank. Um, which right here, we get these last few kills and it comes down to a G a G's. So if anyone has any questions about how to play certain roles in Call of Duty, how to win more solo queue, or if you just wanna learn how to you know, build up a coaching business, build up YouTube, whatever it may be, hit me up with as many questions as you'd like. I'm always happy to help. And uh, ideally, we're just here to get better every day in and out of game. Uh, we got 34 kills, a decent amount of time. And uh, just let me know if you guys have any questions. I am always happy to help. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and get ready for more of these when MW3 drops. Thank you so much, and I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Peace.